What's up everyone, this is Cyberdyne 8610 and today we have uh, the card effect for the Crimson Dragon Synchro Monster. We talked about it, I don't know, it's probably been a month ago, but uh, yeah, I finally got around to making a video about the effect that we have for it, and of course its name is uh, Ultima Zulkin is the actual name of the card, so it's not Crimson Dragon, I believe that's what it's called of course in the manga though, is Ultima Zulkin. And uh, let's see, it is a level 0 Synchro Monster Dark Dragon, and uh, it has 0 attack and 0 defense. Its effect is that uh, this card's level is always treated as level 12. Cannot be synchro summoned, must be special summoned from your extra deck by sitting to level 5 or higher monsters that you control that are the same level, one tuner and one non-tuner, to the graveyard, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, when a spell trap is set to your side of the field, you can special summon one power tool synchro monster or one level 7 or 8 dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck. If you control another synchro monster, this card cannot be targeted for an attack or effect. So as you can see, it works with all the different Sino Dragons, including uh, Power Tool Dragon. I don't think there is like a, a you know, the true form to Power Tool Dragon for the manga yet, you know, because this is a card that uh, Rex uses in the uh, in the manga itself. So it's pretty cool to see this. I was always kind of surprised that we didn't get a card like this anyway, you know, from the anime. You know, that always just kind of made sense. And I, I think this card's really awesome too. It's cool to see a level zero monster just in general, and also I guess it's going to be treated though as level twelve just by its effect. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to work out great with a lot of different decks out there, and it looks like a really fun card to use, too. I love the artwork on it. Can't wait to get it for my collection. It is a uh, promo, though, for uh, for Japan, so no idea when we're going to see this. It's for their V-Jump February 2015 promo, so yeah, we might get it maybe this summer for TCG, and, and that's being generous. I mean, it'll probably be late uh, during the year of 2015 if we're lucky, I guess, really. But yeah, it looks like a great card. I really like the effects of it. Can't wait to test it out on, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, Dev Pro, or whatever that will update, and I have this card, and I think it's a really cool one. I, I at least have to get it for my collection, but I definitely want to test it out. But yeah, what do you guys think about this card? Are you excited about it? Not excited about it? Again, I really wish they would have had something like this for the anime, too. It seemed like, a you know, something they should have done, but, well, at least we're getting something from the manga. But yeah, let me know what you guys think on this card. Of course, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.